Good evening. An Albuquerque nurse's assistant killed in a crash that her father, that her family rather says, was caused by a street racer on I-25. News 13's Rachel Knapp spoke with the family. She's live in the studio. Rachel. Jessica Shatanay Tuck's family says she had a big heart and was always there to help others. They hope this tragedy will serve as a lesson for others on the road. My sister was full of life. My sister was definitely a free spirit. Shatanay Tuck's sister says they were close, part of a big family. Shatanay was a certified nursing assistant who helped take care of their parents. It was her passion. It was her calling. That's what she was. She was a, she was a nurturer. But Monday night. Tuck was in a car crash on I-25 near the Sunport. She died at the scene. She was 31 years old. They say your 30s is when you live, you know. Your 20s is when you kind of, you're growing, but your 30s is when you live, and she was just getting started. Although police haven't confirmed it, her family says officers at the scene told them the crash was caused by a 16-year-old who was racing a motorcyclist. He explained to me, he said that they were racing. Um, it was the Honda was racing the motorcycle. And um, basically, he lost control of the wheel, and he went into the median, drove out. He was clocked out at almost 100, 100 to 125 miles per hour, um, and he went head first into my sister and that, my sister in their car. When crews got on scene, bystanders tried to perform CPR on the unidentified driver who was ejected from the car and also died. Tuck was pinned in the back seat in another car. The family says while they are grieving, they are also sad the other driver died and another family is also mourning a loss. They hope their situation can serve as a message for people to stay safe on the road. It's frustrating in a sense that, you know, it's an unforeseen, you know, circumstance. It's an unforeseen tragedy. No one expects for, you know, you to be following the rules of the road and all of a sudden, you know, you have a car coming at you at 100 miles per hour. The crash is still under investigation. The family says they are waiting for the police report to see if they can get financial help in paying for their sister's funeral. Jessica, back to you. All right. Thank you, Rachel. The family has set up a GoFundMe account to help pay for funeral expenses. You can find the link on our website, krqe.com.